28 foot Catalina bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Time of this filming, it has been traded in for uh, about four hours. We uh, work really hard to have fast turnarounds and fulfillment times for our customers, be it from our website, service department, anything. Uh, Catalina has long been Coachman's rank and file, you know, good soldier. This is the one that, uh, at the end of the day, they've always relied on. Um, you know, it's one of their longest running names, and for good reason. They've always built a pretty good coach. Um, the outside here, there's not a whole lot to get too excited about. I do like the fact that it has a slide. And this is something that uh, I think I even overlooked too much, but having a little outside shower right here, that's incredibly useful. If you've ever been at a campsite and uh, needed to like hose something off, like let's say your kid spills their red Kool-Aid on a lawn chair, it's nice to be able just to rinse that off. Notice that this one too is right around your whole sewer connection, so if you need a quick rinse down of uh, anything, you can do that. Uh, spare tire looks like it's never touched the ground, always a good thing. Uh, these have um, scissor jacks as opposed to single leg stabilizer jacks, which is a little more common in an entry level bunkhouse. Um, but uh, the advantage of the scissor jacks is they hold more weight. They can keep the camper more stable. And God forbid, like, like, let's say you have a flat tire. If you have to, you can really crank these jacks and lift one side of that camper up. It's not easy, but you can do it. Notice here, your awning goes over the rear garage door and even past the front door. That's a nice thing. This is about a 20 foot awning and having that extra coverage is a very nice thing. Now, uh, you have a little bunkhouse storage garage right here. The way this works, very simple, it's on a strut. It lifts itself up essentially, and this is also a good way to see, you know, this is made with plywood. This isn't made with particle board, um, but that strut holds this up and creates this gigantic storage co uh, compartment and pocket here for big stuff. Um, you might be able to wiggle a kid's bike in here, but you know, lawn chairs and stuff like that, uh, you can fit quite a bit of big stuff in here. Always a good thing. I do like this big window right here too. This window is, uh, what I like about it is that it's overlooking your campsite. You know, this is where your fire pit's going to be. This is where your picnic table's going to be. So mom and dad can be inside, maybe cooking up some breakfast or lunch, keep an eye on the kids outside. Oh, little outside TV hook up here. Awesome. Now, I am more and more and more convinced as I look through this camper that it was previously owned by some people that were work camping which is when somebody stays in their RV almost the entire week and they go camping and uh, all the time and they they still go to work they go to work straight from their RV things like uh, an aftermarket residential little sofa love seat whatever you want to call it here that did not come in this camper not by any stretch of the imagination it's very nice i'm glad it's there but uh it looks like that's where they spent the their primary amount of time looking at this big 40 inch roughly flat screen television that is another thing that was not there the day this camper was built it's not that that's a bad thing again though so everyone gets all kinds of excited when i say well a customer did a little bit of aftermarket work to this camper everyone gets like uh oh something's wrong it's not the case. Sometimes they just did nice stuff to the trailer. Now this is a thing I like to point out. We see this in our Freedom Expresses from Coachman as well. They're, uh, they use a little uh, smarter countertop system. Now you'll find this in the kitchen, in the bathroom, here on your dinette table. It's a sealed edge. There's no seam for water to slip in there. So it can't get water in and it can't swell up. Uh, you know, that's, that's a nice little feature. Now other than the, uh, the sofa, you can see that you know your primary seating spaces really haven't been overworked all that much. And this is a 2010 model, so it's had a, a good amount of time to be used, but you can see that it's used, not abused. That's the difference. Uh, this has what I call the Jack and Jill bunkhouse, single bunk over top with a uh, little private wardrobe closet back there, and then a, a double bunk on the bottom. And again, you've seen all the storage under there already. Now, when manufacturers first started splitting the bathroom like this, Everyone at first kind of rejected it. We don't like change. That's not how they were built. We don't like it, right? Well, after a while, what people found is, especially in a bunkhouse where you generally have a lot of people, someone can be in here using the toilet, using the shower, while someone else can be out here washing their hands for dinner, brushing their teeth. Speaking of which, you also have a gigantic medicine cabinet. Um, 
I, uh, the camper I have doesn't have a medicine cabinet. This is one of those things that, uh, I, it's a small thing, but it's an everyday thing, and that's the stuff that drives you nuts. My toothpaste, combs, toothbrush, all that dental floss crap has to sit all over the countertop here. I have no room to do anything. If I had a medicine cabinet like this, I would actually have space on my counter. It'd be a little cleaner, too. Um, this right here in the slide out, the sofa and these cabinets are in the slide and you get a lot of extra storage space as a result. Any amount of storage you can get is always a good thing. Um, the uh, previous owners also, uh, I think they may have worked thirds because over quite a few of your big windows, they added extra curtains, but they did a really nice job of it. I mean, the color schemes that they used and everything, they match the trailer stock color scheme really well. If I hadn't pointed it out from just walking through in this video, I bet you never would have noticed. And that's, my, that's one of the points I was making in terms of the aftermarket stuff they did. They did well. They didn't, you know, redneck uh, Mickey Mouse any of their add-ons aftermarket. Um, up here in the bedroom, i tell you what. If you want to block out the sun, they added these really dark chocolate colored shades. You can, when I stepped in this camper at first, it was pitch black. I had to activate the flashlight on my phone to see what I was doing. Now, another neat thing I spotted... This is a brand new mattress. Uh, it looks like a Serta. So this came out of a Rockwood. They must have traded this in on a Rockwood camper. So you have a brand new, never opened, sealed Serta mattress. And I also noticed this is a full 80 inch bed. So a tall guy like me, I can actually sit on this bed without my feet hanging off the bottom of it. And they did add a uh, bedroom TV in here as well on a nice little swing arm so it's facing the bed right where it needs to. Um, other quick highlights, we've got a nice little pocket door closing off the bedroom here so you have full privacy and again you can really block out the light. Central air, central heat keeping you comfortable. Good three season scamper. This is a great used bunkhouse. Uh, this is going to be that thing where, well we have a family and we're, we're thinking about getting into camping but we don't want to go new because we're not sure about the price tag. This is your camper. This is something that is good, solid, reliable, has some nice uh, upgraded features here, obviously, that'll get you started and, uh, you know, really a good way to get your toes wet without going broke doing it. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.